top six and a, a real chance of, of going for second place in, in the league and it's a, an exciting few weeks still to go in the season? Yeah. It's exciting, but still, there's still work to be done. It's not yet over, and we know. As Gaffer has always said, hard work pays, and you need to be consistent. So I think so from the second half of the season, we've been consistent, we've been playing brilliantly, we've been fighting for every point we could get. And that has put us in a good position, and put us in a good contention for where we are now, trying to fight for the second place, which is the most important thing right now for us. We are not just consistent. Considering being in the fourth position, we want to fight because we know Celtic has already gone winning the league and we've confirmed that. But the most important thing, the second spot is still open for the likes of us and Aberdeen and Rangers. So we're going to fight to the end. The playoff is not going to be easy. Even the game tomorrow, which is the most important one for us, we didn't think about the playoff right now. We're only thinking about playing the host county, which we know they are fighting for their lives and they are playing great football for the past few weeks, winning. For the strikers coming hat trick, so we know they're in good shape, in good form, just like us. So we're going there with a positive mind to get a, pos a good result. That's just the most important thing right now for us. What would it mean to uh, to get a European place at the end of the season to, to secure a Europa League football here again? Is that something that was maybe a goal or, or an expectation from, from this year, or, or would it be above your expectations for the, for the season? Well, we started the season with a mindset. Winning the trophy, that was the mindset we had on being the top six. That was the goal, that was the mindset, the target we had when we started the league. But when we lost the two cups, so we just thought European sport is what is left for us and that's what we have left and that's what we can give back to the fans, to the club, for everything they've done for us, the players, for their support and everything. So that's our cup for us. So that's what the gaffer continues singing in our, in our head, in our mind, to put in our heads because we know it's, we don't have anything to play for apart from getting the European sport. And that's the mindset for us now. And I don't think we have any other thing to do than to just try and get that done. If he beats Hamilton this week, Hamilton's a side that you've struggled against this season. You fell behind, you came back and won. Do you think there's maybe a, a harder side to the team? Do they have a bit more steel now? To pick up like that. Well, yeah, we know it was a difficult game against Hamilton. We've played it twice before you know, last week, and we know the kind of football they play. They look like a team that it's feel you can beat, but when you get to the pitch with their style of playing, with their determination, with their ambition and everything, with their aggressiveness, it's always difficult to play with such kind of a thing because they are always unit. They work together, they run together, they defend together. So for us, we know the strength, we've played them twice, so we know it's going to be a difficult game because still they're in the bottom, they're fighting for their lives to stay up in the leg. So we know it's going to be a tough game after playing them twice, losing the first game at home, playing 1-1 one -one over there. So we never count them out, we respect them. But the most important thing for us is just to try and see how we can win the game, how we can find a way to win the game because we've been playing well apart from the first game. The second game we played brilliantly. This one too, we didn't start very well, but the gaffer with his message in the second half, I think it, he helped us and we overcome and we put them under pressure in the second half. So he helped us a lot, which at least changed the style of play, the formation, and he told us to play with intensity to move the boy quicker. So I think when we did that in the second half, we were able to move them around and get the game open. With the run though that you've, you've been on <coughs> recently, putting you know so so many wins together. You've had that more consistency. Is there, is there a different feeling now in the team compared to at the start of the season? Well, I think the second half of the season, we just understand after losing that game, ha, I think that brought another dimension into the team and bringing the new players into the team like Canberry, Scotty, and what was his name again? <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Those three players bring another dimension to our style of play. At least they both change into the team and and that's what I think we lack in the first half of the season. Not that we're not good enough, but scoring goals was been the major problem we had. We don't have the finisher, those that can finish the ball and the midfielder that can create the chance for us. I think bringing these three players really changed the style of our play and it helped the Gaffer to really stabilize us and the style of his play really helped us a lot. I think that's why we are stronger than the first half. I think with these three players coming in and helping us to really get this kind of game the Gaffer wants us to play. 
Yeah, it really helped us to change the style of our plan. I think that's just the most important thing right now. FE, you know the team's playing well, but how do you feel you personally are getting on the World Cup, obviously, just a couple of months away? Is that something you're, you're realistically thinking about trying to break back into that squad? Well, as you know, football, speak on the pitch. For me, I think I do most of the talking on the pitch right now. Just try to be consistent, trying to play, trying to help my team. That's the most important right now. If the World Cup comes, the Gaffer is watching. I think he's putting eyes on the player and it's, it's his choice, it's his call. But for me, I'm never ready. Every time they call me up on to come and put on the green and white again, it will be an honour again to put on the green and white to represent my country. But the most important thing right now is to focus on my club, to help my club secure the European sport. And if the World Cup comes as a plus for me, that's just the most important thing. I concentrate on my team, I'm helping them to get the European sport. But as you know, we have good players in Nigeria, young players coming up too as well. And they've been playing well, they've been doing well. Well, it's the call of the gaffer, as I say. Once it feel I'm in the right shape and I'm worth calling upon, and if you feel I can add something to the squad, if you call me, why not? I will take the opportunity with two okay. hands. Okay. Sorry, have you had any discussions with the manager about where you stand? Well, I've not spoken to him, but I think the information I got is like he monitors everybody, he has someone on. It's a team that monitor everybody that plays regularly and everybody that is consistent and everybody that plays in the top league. So I think he's aware, he knows I'm playing and he knows my consistency, he knows my form. I know he knows everything because that's his job. He watches every player that plays all over the world. So I think he knows and he has gotten some information about me. So if it's the right time, if he feel I'm needed, I think he will make the call and I'll be ready for that.